guys, I'm Monique. I'm going to show you how you can make a DIY succulent wall art piece. What you'll need is a shadow box, succulents, a pair of scissors, a plastic drop sheet, safety gloves, a dowel, wire mesh, a staple gun, wire cutters, and of course you're going to need cactus and succulent plant mix. All right, let's get to it. So your first step is preparing your shadow box. So you want to go ahead and get your plastic drop sheet to line your shadow box. So you want to cut it just a little bit larger than the actual box. Next, press your drop cloth inside of the shadow box so it is lining the inside. So you can tuck in your sides there. And then you want to take your staple gun and staple that drop sheet. So once you have your box lined, then you're going to get your safety gloves. And then you're going to start working with your wire mesh. Here's what I cut. Here's what it looks like in the packaging. And so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and get that wrapped around. So using your wire cutters. Go ahead. You can also use chicken wire for this as well, but I like using the mesh because it's easier once you start stuffing your, your succulents. Once you have your mesh cut, then you lay it on top of your shadow box, so right on top of your frame there. And then you're gonna get your staple gun and you'll staple around securing that wire to the frame. All right, there you go. All stapled and ready for our potting mix. So you're gonna get your bag of your potting mix. One bag should be sufficient for this project. And then you slowly start filling your shadow box with the soil. If you are working inside, it's probably best to line your space using another drop cloth, just because you're working with the dirt, you don't wanna get it all over the place. And then as you're adding your potting mix, take some time every now and again to just shake and level your potting mix in place. All right, so now we are filled with our potting mix and now this is where the fun begins. We are gonna start adding our succulents. All right, so the thing about succulents, you wanna use you know, nice big ones for your staple pieces and then use these little small ones for like your accent. So let's go ahead and start with this guy. And then what you wanna do is just squeeze it out like so. And then it's good to have another piece of plastic on the side of your workspace, because then you're gonna start loosening those roots up. And this is good as well, because you can use that extra soil that has your plant when you're, you're planting it in as well. And I mentioned earlier, you could use chicken wire for this. What I like about the mesh is that you can actually play around and cut different spaces. So as you can see, the grids are quite small and that's great when you have your small filler pieces. But when you have, you know, bigger pieces like these, it's good to just cut. You can be able to cut a custom size that you want and then just pop that up like so and here I'll... so you see you got your square there and then all you gotta do is just tuck that those roots in and just nudge it in and you still want to be delicate succulents are very delicate so you just want to 
Do that and then you can even add some more of that soil in as well. I have my dowel to also assist if some of your succulents have more roots and they need a little help being tucked in, then that's what you can do. Okay, so we have that one in. And so let's do this guy. So this is a big one, but this will break into little mini ones. And this were the, these are the fillers that I was talking about. So you see how they break up like so. And you could just put that at the side as you're ready. So let's go ahead and, and do this. And so this one has a bit of a wide root. So what I'm gonna do again is use my dowel. Okay. Go for this one. And you just keep on doing this with your succulent. So this, this root is quite dense. So there's really not much you can do about that. So all you gotta do is just uh, go ahead and cut your space a little ahead here. And just also, if you choose to go with this, this mesh and you decide to do some cutting, just be, you know, be aware of where you're cutting so you're not cutting a very large hole as well. And you see that, you know, I have my big accent piece here. I have my little fillers. And again, you just keep on moving around. Let's use this one. I love the star shape of this one. And I love that it has a slightly different color. It has like that, almost that aubergine color to it. With the succulents, you don't have to worry too much about really pressing them in because they are very good at rooting. So once you get it in, and you just add a little bit of soil with it, it should be fine. It's really nice to mix the colors of your succulent. So, because there are so many different beautiful shades, it's really nice if you know, take a step back and kind of see how your colors are going. And then you can see, you know what, where do you want to place this? I think we're going to place that one there. Cause you know, you see I have the purple one, the lighter green, darker green. So again, play around with your selection of succulents as well when you're choosing them. We're almost done here. And when you're finished, you have all of your succulents in, you can't hang it up just yet. You're gonna have to let that sit for about three to four weeks. You really want your succulents to root and be secure. So when you hang it up, everything doesn't fall out. We don't want our, our beautiful and our hard work to go to waste. So definitely let that root, be patient, let it sit. Trust me, it's gonna look beautiful when it's time for you to hang it up. And voila, there you have your own personal DIY succulent wall art for you to enjoy.